So if you would like to give us more details about your media mix, you know, when it comes to digital versus traditional, how much have you shifted to digital in the last two, three years? See, for us, the media mix has always been a function of two things. One is uh, a specific campaign, which will have a very clear business objective, and there will be a marketing objective, and there will be also a campaign objective. So when we look at what this is the business objective, sometimes you might want to create at a brand level a high level of preference, a high level of awareness for a specific product. These two are very different. So depending on what the objective of the business, what's the marketing objective, as well as what is the specific campaign objective, the media mix model gets defined for us. So when you're talking about festive treats, for example, this is more at a very, very high brand level because what we are creating is an offer for our customers right across the ecosystem of products and services that we provide. So there we will try and see from our perspective, what is it that we need to do? So there will be a, a little more preference for the traditional media because it allows us to get the reach very, very clearly and quickly and fast. So even press comes into fact in play in many of these things because it gets a very quick reach and awareness and it's also a short period of time. So you want everybody to come to know about the offer on day one to the extent possible because you have a 15 day, 15 or 45 day festival period where we want to maximize uh, the ability of our customers to avail of these options. So that's how it, the media mix gets defined. When it comes to the direct to consumer business, for example, there are two roles that we need to play. For today's consumer, it might be more about digital. Because at the end of the day, I'm targeting a very specific cohort of customers who are wanting to go ahead and experience HDFC's bank's products and services. But for tomorrow's consumers, it will be more about brand mm -hmm. because we need to create the awareness that these are all the services and the products that we have for offers for you as mm -hmm. a customer. And whenever you think of it, maybe you might think of purchasing a home, maybe three months down the line, six months down the line. At that point of time, if I'm going to come and reach you and say, I have an offer, and that's not the type to create that's not the time to create the preference so we would like to do a lot more of brand investments so we look for whether it is a today's customer or tomorrow's customer today's customer is more going to be digital in my view and tomorrow's customer is going to be more brand which always lends itself to more traditional media okay but tomorrow's customer is also much younger customer no is is he not more available on digital than traditional see what we are trying to see see for us uh, younger customers i wouldn't want to go by a demography of okay. age as a criteria at all okay. at the end of the day for us uh, all this is a mindset so what we want to do is to reach consumers where they are present so okay. if you are present in the digital media we'll reach you there so if tomorrow's customers are going to be in the digital world, we will reach in through the digital means. But if tomorrow's customers are going to be seeing more of television, like for example, sports, mm -hmm. gives us an opportunity to do a lot more leverage during that short window of opportunity when it is available. Mm -hmm. And if you look at people who will consume banking products and services, you'll obviously see that if they are going to be available on those media, are they going to consume those media, then we'll obviously go. Mm -hmm.